what is my future or what is my fortune? These are questions people ask themselves all the time, especially heading into the new year. Some people spend hundreds of dollars on these fortune tellers to look at the palm of their hand or hand them paper cards that's going to tell them, will I find love or will I be rich? Will I be successful? No, 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 no. The frustrated gamer doesn't need any of that. Today, with the power of one cell phone and one app, I'm going to tell you guys with 100% certainty what will happen in my future. All for the beautiful price of zero dollars. What is going on everybody? I am Brandon aka The Frustrated Gamer and today we're going to be exploring some of these fortune telling apps. Now they are free so I don't really care too much but this one's called Daily Horoscope and then we're going to compare the results of this one to another one and see if they kind of I don't know, agree, I guess, on my future. So this one actually has a few cool things. We've got a palm reading app. We've got a free daily tarot card reading. We've got a fortune cookie, a magic eight ball, compatibility test, and a wishing fountain. It's actually kind of cool. We're going to start with the palm reading. I want to know my future. Learn about your life and luck all in your hands. Okay, I really have no idea what my palm creases has anything to do with my future, but we're gonna- we're gonna give this a shot. Hold your hand in front of your camera and line it up with the screen palm outline, okay? Uh, I'm gonna scrunch my hand so it can see my palm. I put the flash on because the lighting's not great in this room. Uh, I, ah! Okay, that seems beautiful. Ugh. <laughs> it looks like Jabba the Hutt if any of you guys are Star Wars fans. Alright, scan my hand. This is patented, high-level palm reading technology. Ooh! Wait, we got one line? What about the other creases in my hands? What about the other- No, no, alright, let me- let me retry that. I want to get all the creases in my hands. Let's turn that flash on. Ready? Ah, oh, now we're talking. It said that- someone I read online said scrunch your hands so it can really see the creases. Okay, that's not really much of my palm, but it seems a little bit better. Ooh, now we got some lines. Wait, but now the red one went away! <laughs> Now the red line went away. Scanning, scanning. Now we got the red one. All right, now we got all three. Beautiful. So I got the red one, the blue one, and the turquoise one. I don't know what these means. All right, so the first one's the heart line. I am a rational thinker with generally content love life. Uh, okay. Uh, I have great dreams and high expectations for love, mostly mentally and emotionally stable. You know what? Actually, that doesn't seem that far off. I feel like I'm a pretty mentally stable person. I've had a girlfriend for five years. That's not bad. All right, let's go to the headline. Careless, indecisive, impulsive, prefer physical activities and accomplishments to intellectual ones. Usually straightforward and hard to beat around the bush. Or hardly beat around the bush. Okay. And my lifeline. Solid, reliable, highly resistant to disease, and full of vitality and stamina have the ability to maintain a well-balanced life. Well, I feel like those two kind of contradict each other. One says I'm careless, indecisive, and impulsive, and then the other one says I'm solid, reliable, and highly resistant to disease. Aren't those kind of opposites? All right, you know what? <laughs> let's try the other hand. All right, let's try the passive hand. So I am righty, so now we're trying the left hand. I'm gonna scrunch my hand together a little bit. Let's see if they agree or if they disagree. I have no idea. Okay, scan my hand, darn it. Uh, all right, we got, oh, we got all three lines again. Okay, cool. Uh, my heart line, open and approachable, passion and desire driven, express emotions and feelings freely, good at creating romantic atmosphere, consider others' feelings. Okay, so now my left and my right hand tell different stories of my future and my life. So apparently this hand is very stable and this hand is very passionate. What do the other ones say? Highly independent. Okay. Each of my hands have said opposites. Highly independent, bold, extroverted, optimistic character. I feel like that one's actually more like me than my right hand. It seems like my left hand is more accurate to my life. And then my lifeline, solid, reliable, highly resistant. Okay, okay, so the lifeline agree on both of my hands. All right, let's try something else. All right, well, that just kind of told me about my life. I want to see my future. I think this should tell me more about my future. Tap one card from the pack. Okay. So let me get this straight, and I, tarot card reading, I do not understand. I don't get why people spend hundreds of dollars on this kind of stuff. You're telling me if I tap one of these cards randomly, it's going to tell me about my future? All right, I'm going to kick, I'm going to click that one. Okay, um, for career, I'm going to click that one. Hopefully it's good for my YouTube channel. And then for my love life, I'm going to click that one right there in the middle. Okay, so, uh, 
Love life. We've got strength. A strength card reversed in love and relationship context uh, suggests a crisis of confidence. Oh, no. There are going to be more suspicious and lies in the relationship. Oh, no. However, they aren't told on purpose. The love between the two people never disappears, and it's only the problem of lack of communication. All right, me and Sam have to have a real conversation over here because a paper card told me that I'm going to have uh, issues with communication. All right, let's go over to my career, and then we're going to finish with my future. The Emperor. When the Emperor card appears in a career context, it tells you that you may finally get noticed by your boss. But I'm my own boss. <laughs> I've noticed myself my whole life. 27 years, I've been noticing myself the whole time. Uh, the work goes more smoothly and fewer conflicts show out. All right, well, I'm glad I'm going to have no arguments with myself about my career because I'm my own boss. All right, we're going to move on to my fortune now. Wheel of Fortune. So am I going to be on the game show Wheel of Fortune? Is that, that would be a super specific card. All right, the reversed fortune card emphasizes the turning point of life. Opportunities are coming to you, but what matters is how to recognize them and how to make the best of them. If you can handle these questions well, you will own a big sum of money. Hey! Okay! So basically this said, you will be given an opportunity, and if you handle the opportunity perfectly, you will get money. I mean, okay, this is my problem with fortune tellers and stuff like that. They give you these statements that are so broad and so wide that everybody can relate to them. So basically, this is saying, at some point in my life, I will have an opportunity. And if I handle it perfectly, things will go well. So basically, if things don't go well, and I go back to a fortune teller and yell at the person, they're going to be like, well, you were given the opportunity, you just didn't handle it well. I mean, that, that's just a load of barnacles. All right, let's go back and try some of the other stuff. All right, I could go to my local Chinese restaurant for this, but while we're here, let's try one of the fortune cookies. Uh, pick your fortune cookie. We're going to go with that one right there. Okay. Communicate, sacredness, build it, share it, and spread it. Okay. Hey, you know what? Actually, I can relate to that one. I feel like that sort of has something to do with my YouTube channel. I communicate to you guys. Hopefully, I will build the channel. I Hopefully, you guys will share my videos, and then my channel will spread and grow and flourish. Okay, let's actually pick one more fortune cookie. That was actually a pretty good one, though. Healing is a matter of time, but it's sometimes also a matter of opportunity. I... <laughs> Let's just move on. All right, the last one I'm going to do on this app is the Magic 8-Ball. Here we go. Uh, Magic 8-Ball enlightens people to their unknown future. Ask one question in mind, then shake the 8-Ball. Be sincere, it will guide you to the answer. Okay, Magic 8-Ball. Will I ever get to 1 million subscribers? Okay. Most likely. Yes. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Wait, now let's try it the other way. All right, this is this is me trolling this this Magic 8 Ball. Magic 8 Ball, will I never get 1 million subscribers? It depends. I mean, what does that mean? <laughs> All right, you know what? We're going to move on to another question. Magic 8 Ball, did everybody at home hit the like button? Maybe. What kind of answers are these? This is the most indecisive Magic 8-Ball ever. I want yeses or noes. Magic 8-Ball. Did everybody at home share my YouTube channel so that it can grow and flourish? Ooh. Possibly. This is the worst Magic 8-Ball ever. Magic 8-Ball, do you say anything that's a yes or a no? Or do you just say everything's maybe? Perhaps. I mean... <laughs> This is absurd. This Magic 8-Ball hasn't given me a yes or no answer this entire time. Magic 8-Ball, do you hate me? Possibly. I'm done with this thing. You know what, Magic 8-Ball? I don't like you. I don't care if you like me or not. I don't like you. Yes, I am arguing with a fictional Magic 8-Ball in a phone app. All right, the next one we're trying is Astro Guru. And this was like the highest rated fortune telling app on the App Store. Name... Uh, do we go Brandon or Frustrated? We'll go, uh, we'll go Brandon. Not Branson, it's Brandon. Okay. Uh, date of birth. Does any of you guys know what my date of birth is at home? All right, I've said it before. June 12th, 1992. Yes, I'm an old man, and I am English-speaking. Continue. Okay. 
All right, so I'm a Gemini because I was born between May 21st and June 19th. Today's horoscope. Oh, okay. Your energy and enthusiasms levels will be lower than usual today, Brandon. Hey, they even know my name. That's very nice of them. Lower your expectations somewhat to avoid disappointment. What? <laughs> this is so terrible. All right, this 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 vlog is going to come out terribly because my energy levels are low. Uh, stop making excuses or blame others otherwise. Your friends and colleagues may lose trust in you. Man, this was the worst fortune ever. What is this? All right, let's go over to the palm reading app. Apparently, this one's better than the last one. I don't know. All right, so if I'm female, I scan the left hand. If I'm male, I scan the right hand. All right, I am a male. Uh, so I'm going to scan my right hand. Okay, uh, let's do that. Allow Astro Guru to take pictures and record videos. Well, I guess I have to. All right, scan my hand for creases and bumps. Ooh, this looks cool. It's like a little x-ray vision thing here. Come on, baby. Give me something good. I want something good in my future. Oh, that's a new one. I don't think I've ever remember seeing green before. That's the heart line. See, look, I'm learning. Maybe I'll open up. You know what? Guys, if I opened up a frustrated gamer fortune telling booth, would you guys come visit me? You are unyielding and charming when it comes to wooing the one you are attracted to. The insistent way you pursue relationships also fuels the attachment you have to them since any... I'm done reading this. All right. I don't even know what that just said. All right. This is my headline. Your headline tells us that you are a very simple, straightforward person. However, you have a tendency to act before thinking of the outcomes of your actions. Hence, you should look at all possibilities before making major decisions. I feel like this is just general advice everybody should live by. Your headline expresses that you have an excellent memory. All right, this is wrong. That's absolutely wrong because I have the worst memory in the history of the world. I've said it often, guys. I have the memory of a squirrel. I actually don't even know if squirrels have good memories or not. But if squirrels have bad memories, then I have the memory of a squirrel. Um... Okay, let's move on to lifeline. Uh, the range of the lifeline reveals that your life will be content with love of family and friends. You may come across issues related to health. Oh, <laughs> that's not what I want to hear. Screw my friends and family. I want to be healthy. <laughs> Sorry, friends and family. I love you guys too. Uh, conserve your energy wisely while indulging in day-to-day -day activities. All right, I feel like YouTube's the wrong thing to do then because YouTube's kind of an exhausting thing. All right, let's go back. Let's go to my tarot card. Oh, and there's also a Kundli. I don't know what a Kundli is. All right, we could do a daily reading, a yes or no tarot, a health tarot, a one card tarot, a love tarot, or a fortune tarot. I want my fortune. I want to know my future. Oh, my past. Well, okay, before I look at this, I feel like looking into my past is a little dangerous for apps like this because I know my past, so if it gets it wrong, that's not good. Oh, I got the devil. That doesn't seem good. Present. A naked lady! There's a naked lady! Okay, and then future. Um, future. So my future card is a future card. Okay, show reading. Okay, how are your finances right now? Do you feel like you are working hard trying to be frugal, but are still getting nowhere? Let's be honest then, you aren't doing everything that you can. The devil represents gluttony on many levels. This is already wrong. I literally, <laughs> I literally cringe when I have to spend something that's like $4 or more. Like the other day I was at the grocery store buying batteries and I was like negotiating with the lady at the counter trying to save a couple bucks. So yeah, gluttony and me do not go together. I'm already moving on to the next card. Whoa! Wait, what? What? Where did my cards go? No! Oh, and now I got the Emperor. What? Oh, I wanted to see what the Naked Lady card meant. Oh, that's a load of barnacles. All right, well, let's forget that one. Let's go to the present card. Many of us live our whole lives striving to work in one place that will give us security into our old age. The economy is different in these modern times and does not always provide us with the same security. Okay, so what does this mean? Stop, I don't want to read a novel. I want to know what my future is. When the judgment card appears in a business reading, this can imply that you are on the right path, but you may think you have done all you can. It is like you think you have failed, but later down the line, you might find success with something else. Okay. Okay, those are extremely vague. I feel like I don't understand my future at all. Now let's go over to the... What was the other one called again? We're gonna do a yes or a no tarot card. Hopefully the yes or no tarot cards are a little bit more decisive than the darn magic eight ball on the last one. Okay, let's try this again. Dear magic tarot card, did everybody at home hit the like button? Show reading. I want... What? What? Please enter your question. I literally have to write it in there? I'm just gonna hit like... 
like button question mark. That's good enough. Okay, let's, uh, uh, shouldn't a fortune telling card be able to hear me talk? What does that say? The emperor. Really? You're not just going to give me a yes or a no? You can't, oh, I got to read a novel. Whether, whether you guys at home hit the darn like button or not. Oh, it does say answer yes. Oh, so everybody did hit the like button at home. Thank you guys. All right, let's try that one more time. I want to see if I'm getting a million subscribers. So we're going to go million subs question mark. Ah, okay. Show reading. Uh, show rating. No, this is telling me that I'm not going to get a million subscribers. Well, you know what? Because these things are garbage, I'm going to keep asking it until I do. Million subs question mark. Ah, show my reading. No! Oh, no, this is a bad sign, guys. This is a bad sign. These things never agree on themselves. Okay, million. I'm gonna keep going until I get it. Million subs. Uh, hit the card. Please say yes. Oh, no, that's three in a row. <laughs> that's three in a row. Wait, 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 wait. I get it. It's saying, Brandon, you're not gonna hit a million subs. You're gonna hit 10 million subs. So let's do that. 10 million subs, question mark. Okay, and there we go. It was 10 million subscribers. That's what I was gonna get the whole time Well, I would say overall I'm more confused about my future now than I was before I looked at these apps But this was kind of fun guys try it out at home and let me know what your futures were Don't forget to hit the like button if you guys enjoyed it Let me know if you guys have any more ideas for vlogs that I can do every week hit the subscriber button if you guys are new And I will see all of you in the next video